Stanford University. These fish are part of the great evolutionary story of the African Rift Lakes. They're called cichlid fish, and they rival the Darwin's finches as a story of how evolution functions. In this tank here, we have a community of Astatotilopia bertoni, the fish that we work on. In this study, we're interested in looking at how the social environment influences a male's ability to reproduce. You can see there's a very large dominant blue male. It's very brightly colored. The non-dominant subordinate males are very reproductively suppressed. They don't hold the territory, so they don't typically reproduce. The dominant male will basically split his time between chasing these females and these other subordinate males and doing reproductive courtship behaviors to try and attract a female into his territory for spawning. We knew these subordinate males had very small testes and very low activity along their entire reproductive axis, but we didn't know whether these males could actually reproduce quickly if given the chance. So I'm going to go into the room with these night vision goggles on and net out the dominant male fish. The way we do this is in the dark so that we don't disturb the community of fish and stress them out. Very quickly, when these subordinate animals are given a chance to acquire a territory and become reproductively active, their sperm motility increases within a day. This allows them to use the sperm that they've held for this five-week period so that they can successfully spawn with females within just a couple of hours. It turns out they're actually planning ahead and they're biding their time and they're working on their reproductive system so that when that opportunity comes, they can take over within hours, within minutes. Over the past 15 years, we have discovered that we all share a common genomic plan. And many of the discoveries we make actually will turn out and have turned out to be really important for humans as well as other organisms. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.